Hello everyone, Mike Rempel from Excel Bytes with today's Excel Bytes tutorial. Today we're going to take a look at how to extract a single list from multiple tables based on a criteria. But before we jump into that, please take a minute to subscribe to my YouTube channel and make sure you hit the bell icon so you will get a notice whenever I put out a new video. You can also find me at any of the social media sites you see here. So now let's check out today's topic. So here's our scenario. I have two tables and they're just called table one and table two. And I have a drop down list with the names from those tables. And I want to be able to select a name and in this area here, pull a list of the data from both tables in a single list. So if I want to create a list pulling from just one table, I'm going to use the filter function, which is only available in Microsoft's Office 365. And my array is going to be table one. And my include is going to be table one name equaling whatever I put in J15. I'll close my parentheses, hit enter. And now if I select Tom, it pulls in Tom 42, Tom 75. If I choose Fred, it pulls in the data from Fred, etc. Now, if I change this from table one to table two, it's going to pull in the data from the second table. So how do we combine these into a single list? Well, it's very simple. Well, first of all, just to make it simple, I'm going to go ahead and copy this formula. And then I'm going to amend this formula here with the vstack function. And I'll add what I copied here, close the vstack function, and I'm going to change table 2 here to table 1. So what I'm doing is pulling the data from table one based on the criteria in J15, and then the data in table two for the same criteria, then using the vStack function, which stacks the results of all that criteria into one list. So I'll hit enter, and now I get the information from Fred from both tables. If I change this, to Tom. Again, it pulls the two from Tom from table one and the four from Tom in table two and makes one single list. And that's how you can do that in Excel. So thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so at my website, excel-bytes.com or at any of the social networks noted below. Thanks a lot. Have a great day and happy Excelling.